OCR GCSC Computing, J275, Unit A451, 2.1.1, Fundamentals of a Computer System, Computer Processing. Hey guys, GCSC Revision here, and I'm bringing you another video of the GCSC Computing course, and this time we're looking at part 3 of part A of the Fundamentals of a Computer System, which is to define a computer system, and today's revision topic is on computer processing. Learning objectives. To know what data occurs when the computer processes data. To give some examples of processing tasks. To know where the processing tasks takes place. Computer processing. Processing is a stage where the input data is manipulated in order to produce meaningful information, or in other words, an output. Processing takes an input, uses a program to execute a set of instructions, and then in does this in order to get an output. The CPU processes all inputs, so the all processing in the computer system takes place in the CPU, which stands for Central Processing Unit. Now this is a big part of the course, so I'm going to cover this in the actual part of the top. It, it has a whole topic on itself in 2.1.2 Computing Hardware, which is all about the CPU. And that you can find later in my channel in the other in the other playlist. I'll just go into my channel, search the 2.1.2 um, Computing Hardware playlist, and you'll find all the information you need for it there. Examples of processing in a computer system. Now some examples of processing include searching sales data to find out which product was sold the most units. This processes all the sales data the computer has and then sorts it in order to find out which was the most successful. Sorting your iTunes library by ratings. This is alright this is if you don't have it in ratings already, what it does it processes the order of all your ratings and then um gives you an order of which are the highest rating and the lowest rating. And sorting list of cons customer data alphabetically. This is almost identical to the iTunes library processing um, process, but um, doing it with customer data instead. Questions. Here's some questions. As always, write down the answers, see how many you get, and press play, or pause it, and then press play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Right, here are the answers. If you've got all three of them, well done. Give yourself a pat on the back and move on to the next video. If not, just rewind and try and get all the ones you didn't get. This video is fairly straightforward, so next time we'll be moving on to computer output, which is part three. Sorry, part four. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.